This tune is about to be hard. What? Bandits! Bandits! Hello, 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 everyone! Welcome! Welcome to the Great Big Dave Show, the place where we have great big fun. My name is Andre, and I'm going to be your host today. And over the next hour, we're going to be playing a series of mini games earning points. And the team at the end with the most points will be deemed our winner. But before we get into any games today, I need to figure out which team thinks they're going to be the winner. So when I point to your team, I want you to make as much noise as you possibly can. Bandits, y'all bandits. Bandits. Boo! Go play. Let's hear it for the blue team. Bandits! Bandits! Oh, that's good. It seems like we have a great foundation for our games. Let's get started with our first game today. And it's been said that a great foundation needs great building blocks. So let's learn how to play with those building blocks in Build It Up. Pay attention. In Build It Up, teams will utilize identical sets of blocks to build towers as tall as they can. The team with the highest standing tower at the end of 60 seconds wins 1,000 points. All right, team, don't grab them just yet, but each team is going to notice that they have a set of building blocks behind their team's podium. Now, blue team, you'll be trying to build your set of blocks in this blue circle right here on the ground, and red team, you're trying to do the same over here, okay? Now, the goal is to build the highest standing tower possible in only 60 seconds. Wow, great job for both teams, right? They got us. I'm actually here a chance now to meet my red team, my first winners. How are you guys doing? Hey, it's where, where are you guys from? Uh, here. Here. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. hometown. There we go. I had the hometown advantage. Well, my question, since you guys did so well on that building challenge, is if you guys could build the perfect ice cream sundae, what topping are you putting on it? What's up with Taya here? Uh, Gotta have the cherry on top. The iconic cherry. I love that answer, Taya. Great job on that game as well. Bay? Bre Bree. Sorry, Bree. Caramel. Okay, you gotta have the caramel on there. Caramel, caramel. How do you say it? You gotta have it on yeah. there. Well, Bree, great to meet you. Eric, what about you? White chocolate and a banana. Ooh, okay. We got, some, we got a banana split going right now. We have to have the banana, some white chocolate. Okay, I love that. All right, great to meet you. Dar Daryl. Darrell. Darrell. Sprinkles. Okay, rainbow or chocolate? Very important. Which one? Rainbow sprinkles. I like it, Darrell. Great to meet you. And about Jake. Oh, same for you, right? You gotta have the sprinkles. Well, you guys have a great Sunday here and great on that first game. A thousand points with what you're winning your team right now. Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep it rolling here, folks. Wasn't playing with blocks fun? Yes, I mean, this yeah. This is the last time you guys yeah. do that, right? Elementary school, am I right? Well, the perfect segue into our next game. <laughs> we're going all the way back to elementary school. Not so much engaging what we did in elementary school, but I'm trying to see what you guys remember from elementary school. Let's get into the next game. It's elementary. That's the great big pencil right there. Who do not utilize that right there? It's completely impractical and not useful at all, but... Feel free to circle your team's name right, our team's color. Blue team, you're gonna circle blue. Red team, you're gonna circle red. Blue. Yeah. All right, circle your team. Use teamwork for that pencil. It is kind of unwieldy. Just feel free to circle your uh, your uh, team color up there at the top. Nani, stop, Nani. All right, we have our team's color selected. How this game's gonna work, folks? Is we're gonna work our way all the way from first to fifth grade questions. Okay. You guys are going to utilize teamwork on those questions on this quiz here. No copycats over here, so we're going to go ahead and get it cut off with our first grade question. Nani, listen. All right. What is the largest state in the U.S. by land area? Is it Alaska, Texas, California, or Montana? That's correct. With our first grade question here, what is the largest state in the U.S. by land area? Over here on the red team, we put A. And over here, we also put A, and the answer was A. Great job for both teams. Nice job, nice job. All right, feeling confident now. Let's get into our second grade question. I love my blank sweater. Over here, we put A, and over here, we put C, and the answer you're actually looking for was B. Ah, oh, damn, we both got it wrong. 
All right, going into our next what question here. Okay. Which of these isn't true of a platypus? Over here we put D as they glow under black light, and over here we put C as they're herbivores. What? what? Sorry, no, we did not. We put A. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Yeah, they lay eggs. And the answer was C. Well, Polly, at least you had C. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Into our fourth grade question now. It's time. Defensive players are on the field during a baseball game. Over here we put C, and over here we also put C, and the answer was C. Great job, it's nine. Nicely done. So it's tie. Right, we tied on it. Our dreaded fifth grade question. Oh. Both of us put the same answer. Oh. This one. We put A on each one, and the answer we're looking for was B. It was Abigail oh, no. Adams. Abigail, I'm just going to view our team grades here. Both teams getting a C on this test. Tie game. We both failed elementary, man. 500 points each. Do not worry, y'all. C's do get degrees. I'm living proof of that. So we're going to collect these here. Apply these points there. I'm going to take those paper pencils from you all, the big ones there. Yeah, I think just the big ones. Yeah, perfect. No using these as swords or spears later. Put these away real quick. That would be fun, though, huh? That would be fun. Well... So that means that red team is still in the lead by a thousand. Ah, they crushing us. Look at this. Blue team 500, but don't worry. It is the perfect time to gain some points. And actually, perfect timing is the exact thing you're going to need in our next game. Let's learn how we play today. Wait for me. In Wait for Me, the host will reveal a target time on the board. An alarm will then sound. Each player will wait the specified amount of time, then hit their buzzer. The player to buzz in closest to that round's target time, either above or below, wins 500 points for their team. The goal is simple. The waiting is hard. Good luck. Good job, red team. Blue team, I didn't mention how to get to you guys, and you guys have waited long enough. So, my question to you guys, how are you guys doing? Good, good, good. Good, good. You guys from the National Area too? Yes. Okay, well, great. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's two marks are great. My question to you guys is, what is your favorite pastime? So, James, favorite way to spend time. What do you, what do you think? Um, yeah, family. We're family. family. Hanging out with family. Love yes. that. Love that answer. Well, great to meet you, James. It was what well. about you? What's your favorite time to do, now? What's your favorite thing to do? Favorite pastime. Thing to do? <laughs> be here. Well, great. We're glad to be here. I'm hoping you're spending your favorite time. <laughs> well, of course, great. You did great in that last quiz as well. Alan, what about you? Sports. What kind of sports do you do? Football. Football. Favorite position to play in sports in football? Middle linebacker. You got Why did you write team. Alan? Great to meet you, Alan. What about you? They made no damn Alan. Alan. <laughs> amazing. Well, great to meet you, Blue Team. Great to have you as well. Well, folks. We're going to go ahead and keep the ball rolling here, and what roll is just as good as a ball? You might say a wheel. Let's get into our next game, Spin to Win. Pay attention, Anna. In Spin to Win, each team will be given five spins of the wheel. The spinning team will continue until all spins are taken, or until they choose to pass any remaining spins over to the other team who must take them. After every spin, the spinning team may choose to change the space they landed on into a bankrupt. Once all five spins have been taken or passed, the other team will get a chance to spin, add bankrupts, and pass. Play continues until all spins have been taken. This game will be pretty hard to play without our great big wheel. Give it up for the great big wheel. All right, so how this game is going to work. So Nani, don't touch yet, don't touch yet. a bank of five spins. Now, before we spin it yet, we're gonna go ahead and explain the rules here. How this game's gonna work is that everyone's gonna get a bank of five spins on the board here. So, we're actually gonna start with the red team here. So, how this game's gonna work is that red team's gonna go up to this board, or this wheel, they're gonna give it a great big spin and hopefully land on a point value. At that point, you guys are gonna have a very tough decision if you wanna add a bankrupt. Now, why would you add a bankrupt? Because you're gonna probably spin, add bankrupts, and make it a lot more difficult for the blue team here. But also what you have in your, in your strategy here is that any time you guys can pass the remainder of your spins over to each team. So red team, you can pass your, the rest of your spins over to blue team, which they must take, and blue team, you'll be able to do the same. So we're gonna start it off here with the first spin. For the red team, feel free to step up someone and give it a spin. We'll have one person. Just one person. 
All right, James with the first big the red team. There are two big point values on this board. There is 1,000 and 2,000. They are conveniently located right next to a bankrupt. We're slowing down now. If we bankrupt on this first spin, that doesn't matter. We don't know points to lose. And it's going to be 250. Nice spin there. Good team. job, fly guy. All right, now, do you guys want to add a bankrupt to that spot or leave it open? Or right, leaving it open. All right, Darrell, you're up. Give it a spin. All right, and here we are. Nice spin from Darrell. All right, strong spin here. Let's see where we're going to land. We're starting to slow down, lose some traction. Uh-oh, we're close to that bankrupt. Can we do this? Oh, oh, oh. And it is bankrupt. bankrupt. Um, so the timing was off this time. <laughs> All right. All right, Teo, you're up. Strong spin from Teo. Hoping to get some points back here. Very strong spin. I think if anyone needs to use the restroom right now, you'll probably be back in time. <laughs> All right, we are slowing down. Let's see if we can avoid a bankrupt. Yes, yes, yes. No! Hell! No, cuz. Did you guys want to add a bankrupt to that spot or leave it open? Bankrupt! Are we bankrupting it? No, I'm bankrupting it. It has the most points. Are we bankrupting it or not? What y'all want to do? Make a team decision over there. Team decision. I got three spins left. So that's a tie, it's on you to decide. Uh, what do we think? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, turn it on. I'm gonna yeah. increase the bank up this time. That was smart. Getting it out of there, all right. Okay, back there. So, and now we are up. Feel free Damn. to give it a spin. All right, nice soft spin. Let's see if we can make one full rotation in a way. Where are we gonna go? We are gonna slow down, hopefully not throw the bank up. And it looks like it's gonna get some points. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Great job. What do you guys want to do? They got all the hard numbers. Alright, you have one last spin left. You guys want to pass the spin or you want to keep it? You can always you can pass the spin to the blue team, which they must take. Alright, we're choosing to spin it. Here we are, let's see where we go. And we are slowing down now. Let's see. Don't, don't say bankrupt. No, we are going to get some points. It looks like we're 2 out of the All right. 2,000 points you guys have. You guys want to bankrupt that spot? Okay. We're choosing to bankrupt it. Okay. All right. Oh, man. There's so many bankrupts up there. Teams will answer trivia questions. To connect their teams' colors across the board, the red team must form a chain connecting the top to the bottom, while the blue team must form a chain from left to right. <laughs> a question whose answer starts with the letter of the space selected will be asked to everyone. If a contestant buzzes in and they answer correctly, their team receives 100 points. <laughs> that space will light up with their team color and they may select another letter. Okay. If they answer incorrectly, they themselves will be locked out and anyone else can then buzz in with the answer. The first Why team to connect the their color though. across the board <laughs> receives 1,000 bonus points. All right, so I'm going to explain this game as well. So for my visual learners, how this game is going to work is blue team. You're trying to connect any of these four blocks to any of these four blocks indicated by that blue arrow right there. Now, red team, you're doing the complete opposite. You're trying to connect any of these four bottom row blocks to any of those top bottom row blocks or up bottom row above there. Now, how this game works is these all symbolize trivia questions. Now, the letters on the blocks themselves symbolize the first letter to the answer of the question that I'm reading. I'll say that again. The letters on these blocks indicate the first letter of the answer to the question that I'm reading. So if we're on Q and you say elephant, I'm gonna look at you a little strange. So we're gonna go ahead and start now. How it works is I'm gonna go ahead and read a question. When I'm reading, you do not need to wait for me to finish re uh, reading before you hit your buzzer. If you think you know it, hit it. If you are wrong, you are locked out for that question and anyone in this room can steal it. Yeah. All right, do we understand? Yeah. All right, so our first question here. Buzzers are live. I'm going to read this question. Here we are. 
The most avoided space on a Monopoly board. What is the name of a place you are sent if you break the law? Jail. Jail is correct. Great job, James. Great job, blue team there, getting some points. Now, I will say, this is not a team effort. So, if you have, in order to hit Cynthia, you have to hit your buzzer to get the answer, okay? okay. So, if James hits it, I'm going to expect that James answers, no one helps him. Okay. All right. Now, you guys get to decide where you go next. All right, let's go over to R. All right, we're going for R. R, are you guys ready? Let's see here. Some take seconds to finish it. Others take years. What colorful toy is a fascination of so many? Blank stares. I'll go ahead and reread the question. Some take seconds to finish it. Others take years. What colorful toy is a fascination of, of so many? That is correct. That's Great what job, I'm trying to say. Good job, Junior. Hey, fly guy. Good job. Red team, you have stolen that spot. You guys get to choose where you guys go. Damn. Back. I was trying to ask you what was that. I didn't even know. All right, we're going for D. All right, here we are. Everyone, let's... Which company is a direct rival of Starbucks? That is correct. Great job, Damn. Please. We got to get H or Y now. Where are we going next? All right, we're going for H. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Nice job there. Three Good job, fly guy. Adding that to the scores, blue team has taken it. Bam! Yeah. There it is. There it is. What up, guys? Oh. <laughs> great, great job. You guys did that. And it paid off for you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right. You did it. Feel free to go back to your podiums over there, blue team. Great job. Uh, we took the win. We took the lead. We saw winners. It is time, we are been in the casino all day, but now it is time to zip up our spacesuits and blast off on our last game of the show in Blaster Blitz. Listen, guys. Listen, guys. While the red team will shoot at the red X targets, both teams will fire at the same time. If you hit the other team's targets, they will earn points. Aim carefully. Hey, All right, team. So. All right, here you go. All right. All right. Did you want me to take a picture of recording? Okay, here we are. Uh, here you guys go. Thank you guys, Jared. 